Uh, first of all, that it was a very different kind of awards ceremony for obvious reasons. The global pandemic meaning that the uh, biggest awards of the Hollywood calendar had to find new ways to make it seem special. And also uh, the large number of uh, diverse winners among the uh, the, the, the nominees. Uh, of course, uh, Chloe Zhao being the worst first woman of color to win best director and only the second woman to win the award in the the event's histories many firsts uh write down the winners uh from daniel kaluuya to uh behind the scenes uh mia neal and jamika wilson the first black winners for uh makeup and hairstyling for ma rainey's black bottom so a very different award ceremony uh in good ways as well as other challenging ways yes and no i think it's a wonderful thing that people uh, a wider range of stories and a wider range of um, performers have been honoured and uh, merited. We are, however, 90 or so ceremonies into the Oscars history. This is um, is in some ways um, in progress. Uh, in other ways, it's, uh, it's about time, I would say. Uh, so uh, I think it's a welcome um, sign that uh, there are a wider number of performers and stories that can make it to the highest stage. Uh, but in another, in another sense, I'd very much like that to be uh, continued in the future. It is a, uh, a watershed moment for the cinema industry because unlike other uh, art forms, theatre, music, the delivery system that is the most traditional uh, has been halted, but an up-and-coming delivery system has uh, thrived, I suppose, uh, people such as... Uh, Companies such as Netflix and Disney Plus and Amazon really making the most of that um, uh, shortage of theatrical uh, distributors. Um, I think in the public and in the industry, there is um, a thirst for a uh, return to the more traditional exhibition, the idea of the biggest movies being on the biggest screens. Um, however, how, how realistic that is moving forward as we slowly come back from the global pandemic remains to be seen.